Say hello to Andrea and Flora. They are young, successful professionals living in Chicago. They have great jobs, disposable income, and live in a great brownstone in Lincoln Park with all the amenities. But they have a problem. They can't seem to find the right furniture to fill their awesome apartment. They both love design and want furniture that speaks to them. They have the money to invest in furniture that resonates with them, but they are sick and tired of going to the same old places and buying the same old furniture that everyone else has. Now meet Zach. He's an independent furniture designer in Chicago. He designs and creates his own unique, amazing pieces out of his workshop in Logan Square. He also has books full of renderings of new designs that he would love to create. But Zach has a problem too. He is a designer, not a manufacturer or a salesperson or a marketing expert. He would love to have a place to showcase his designs and more importantly, a way to get his furniture into the hands of people like Flora and Andrea. Welcome to Unbranded Designs. We are an online furniture marketplace that funds, manufactures, and sells the most promising original creations from our community. We sell to design-oriented consumers who want truly unique furniture through our customized e-commerce platform. So let's take a look at our current product. We'll start with the homepage. We wanted to build a simple, sleek website that drove users to the three main actions of our platform, design, boat, and shop. Let's take a look at each of these. We'll start with design. On this page, any professional or amateur can register or log in and upload a rendering or prototype in a matter of seconds. We won't register an account right now, but let's take a look at an actual account page that's created when you register. Here you can edit and add your personal information, contact info, and view your current submissions. When you do add a new submission, it's immediately uploaded to the vote page. The vote page offers a well-displayed layout of all the designs that have been submitted by our community. Simply click on a design and vote for the pieces that resonate with you. The votes help us determine which pieces have the strongest commercial appeal and also help us build our community and give our designers additional exposure. Finally, our shop page, which is currently in testing. This is how we make money. It's important for us to differentiate ourselves from our competition and we do so not only by having unique products, but by creating a personal connection with the consumer. We create a video for each product we sell that highlights the design, designer, and the creation process. Though we launched just a week ago, we've already obtained 30 design submissions from a dozen designers and have over 100 users, all with zero marketing. We're also piling a design for production and sale and have a professional videographer creating our first video. We are unbranded designs and we are changing the way people design and buy furniture. Now that we've covered our product demo, Let's dive deeper into our company and the lean startup approach we've taken. So, we're a web-based, interactive furniture company that funds, manufactures, and sells the most promising designs of our community. We're going to sell our furniture via an e-commerce platform directly to our customers using a sales approach that leverages designer videos to build an intimate connection with consumers. We arrived at our company vision through customer interviews with 35 designers and 55 direct consumers and furniture retailers. So. Who are our customers anyway? After a thorough set of interviews, we determined that our customers are design focused and individualistic. They can afford to shop at retailers like Crate and Barrel, West Elm, and even Room and Board. However, they become bored of the same styles of furniture carried by these retailers. They want unique furniture with actual personality that doesn't eat up their savings. So how big of a market are we dealing with? Well, the entire furniture, uh, American retail furniture market is about $40 billion a year. About 10% of that sales is done through online channels, which is our exclusive selling platform. As far as our initial target market, we know that 15% of households have 100K plus annual income. We also know that through our interviews with consumers who have 100K plus income, about 75% are interested in our product. If we multiply these two percentages together, our 4 billion of online sales becomes our initial target market of $500 million. It's a big market, and we believe it's conservative based on the factors listed on the slide. And who's our team? Well, we have two business founders and two tech founders. Samir and Samer are our two business founders. They're both alums of the University of Michigan and have spent about four years in management consulting, focusing on operations, new market entry, and sales and marketing. Our other two co-founders are the technical geniuses driving the vision of our website. Dennis is a world-class web designer and drives the design and user interface vision of our company, and Max runs and manages all of our back-end development. We're a well-rounded team of smart, passionate individuals
focused on a singular vision to make unbranded designs a successful company. This is our original canvas from 10 weeks ago. By the time we reached this point, we'd already created a vague outline of our model based on initial conversations. We had a hypothesis that a crowdsourced model was the right approach, but how it would work and to whom we'd sell, we had no clue. Our first canvas contained five types of customers from two sides. Since we had a two-sided model, we had to validate both demand and supply-side customers. We set out to interview both, but we were able to validate designer-related hypotheses first through 35 independent and student designer interviews. What did we learn? As we hypothesized, designers struggle with general business practices. Additionally, all three of our main hypotheses were validated. Designers lacked the expertise as well as the time and money to get their designs manufactured and sold. They also struggled to brand themselves and obtain early feedback on their designs. We also found that there was virtually no difference in issues faced by the independent professionals and the amateur designers, so we no longer needed to segregate and target them separately. We validated designers but still needed to validate all demand side customers. We were initially targeting three types of consumers individual consumers, furniture retail stores, and new commercial locations. We actually tried validating hypotheses related to each of these. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, that's what everyone told us. We stubbornly explored each opportunity and went out and interviewed 15 bar and restaurant owners and interior designers, 18 furniture retailers and showrooms, and 22 individuals within our targeted consumer base. What did we find? Well, everyone was right. We needed to focus. Luckily, the data forced us to do just that. The consumers that we interviewed want but struggle to find unique furniture. Most of the consumers also said that cost was a bigger concern than actually locating independent designers. The furniture retailers we interviewed validated our, our hypotheses related to new products, and restaurant and bar owners were actually interested in our offering. But at this time, no one was willing to commit to us without seeing our community's designs. There is an opportunity with both types of customers, but we've decided to drop them from our immediate strategy. So we will target individual consumers who will purchase our pieces directly from us through our e-marketplace. They're going to be super happy like those guys. Furniture retailers and showrooms will not be our near-term channel partners, though we may be able to build longer-term relationships. That brings us to our updated canvas. Now that we had validated and invalidated customers, we needed to address our next biggest question, the ability to have designs built. This is a key activity for our business and depends on our ability to find furniture manufacturers to partner with us. So we went out to see if manufacturers would be willing to be our partners or at least meet our needs as vendors. That meant finding people that can provide high quality manufacturing expertise, competitive cost, reliable delivery, and flexibility to create different size batches use different production methods, and handle many types of materials. We approached 66 furniture manufacturers of all sizes and specialties, and mostly from Chicago and the Midwest. To get actual data, we approached them with specs for two actual designs that were interested in selling. Did they answer us? Well, mostly. Of the 66 we contacted, 35 were inter interested in working with us, though some couldn't quote these specific pieces. More importantly, four of them were actually interested in establishing partnerships with us. That means they're willing to work with us on small batches, provide flexible lead time and payment requirements because they buy our vision and understand the potential upside. Through our discussions, we found that the larger manufacturers are interested in just having a typical vendor relationship, while the smaller manufacturers saw us as a way to market themselves and grow with us. Which brings us to our most up-to-date canvas, not the final one. We still have many things to validate, but we have enough to move forward building our community and selling pieces of furniture. We've learned a lot these last 10 weeks. 90 customer interviews and 35 manufacturer connections have enabled us to validate 18 hypotheses and invalidate 16 more. They also helped us to eliminate two customer types and two channel partners. Looking back at our first canvas, it's clear how far we've come. We haven't had to make any major pivots, but we've been able to focus and not drown by chasing too many customers, or more accurately, creating too many businesses. Most importantly, the Lean Startup Challenge has allowed us to get to a core model on which we can build a successful business. Thanks for your time. Come visit us at unbranddesigns.com.